So for part two of my CPU installation tutorials, I'm going to be doing LGA775. It's not the newest socket on the block. In fact, I'll be installing uh, as my demo today. And let me see if you are going to be able to read this. Yeah, that's an Intel Pentium 4 630. It runs at a whopping... Uh, I can't read this through the camera, so undoubtedly you can't. But it runs at a whopping... 3.0 gigahertz. It is a single core process. Okay, we're not going to go too far into that. Now, this is kind of an older board. It's an Intel 965 board, um, but but I can still show you the procedure except for the removal of the protective cover over the pins. So if you want to know how to remove the protective cover that goes over the pins, uh, it's pretty easy. You just kind of, I'm going to mime it. You pick it up kind of like this and then you, you pry it up and then it comes off. So unlike the LGA 1366 and 1156 ones, which actually sit under the, the CPU cover, the LGA 775 one actually sits over top the whole assembly. So it's closed when you remove the cover. Okay, so the first step is to take the lever, push it a little bit out away from the hook, and lift it up. The next step is to press on this little tab right here, which will lift up the CPU socket cover and expose 775 high performance modern pins, okay? So then, much the same as the newer processors, Intel has uh, had already got had this figured out quite a number of years ago. There are two little slots in the side of the CPU, and there are two corresponding tabs in the socket. So you can see them here and here. So we're gonna orient our CPU so that the notches are right here and there. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and carefully put the CPU into the socket. I like to give it a little wiggle to make sure it's in the right place. Then all you need to do is cover it with this. Uh, so you can see the pressure is actually from the bottom here and it comes right down on the CPU here. So that is where the uh, the force that's holding in the CPU is actually coming from right here. It makes contact with the integrated heat spreader just like that. So then you take your arm and you can see that this is where the pressure starts to come in on the arm itself. It's quite hard to push down. And this little bar right here is actually making contact with this tab at the end of the socket. So you're going to need a little bit of force. It's okay. Let's see. You push it all the way down. Get it under the hook, and there you go. You've installed your 775 processor. The force is all right. That's the pressure that's necessary to make sure that all the pads on the bottom of the CPU are making contact with all of the pins inside the socket. Thank you for checking out my LGA 775 CPU installation video. Here it is again in fast motion, just like that.